You've done this yourself. I and know. so could you describe <laughs> that transition from the laboratory to commercial well, application? Yeah. I mean, let me say that, um, first of all, um, there, it's inevitable yeah. that there will be um, lots of tries and some will fail and some won't. Right. Okay, because I mean, I just think that, and so we don't want to see a situation where suddenly uh, any actor is coming in seeking to control and guarantee outcomes, because right. we kind of know that doesn't work so well. Mm. Uh, so I, I mean, uh, I, but uh, on the other hand, uh, many of these questions have to do with how do you efficiently use capital mm -hmm. to scope out the early stage yeah. and see which ones should be amplified and not. Yeah. So, so I'll just give you a, a quick example. Let's say, for instance, um, that we have um, uh, uh, somebody who has a wonderful idea uh, and ordinarily capitalizing it. Let's say there's eight, eight people who have a really great different idea about how to do something. Yeah. Uh, do all eight need to fully capitalize uh, right out the you know right. gate? Maybe not. Maybe they can use um, a national lab. That's what's the you know, that, that's what's the basis of the Activate mm -hmm. system that uh, mm -hmm. ex, you know the nonprofit that helps sci uh, early stage entrepreneurs use the infrastructure of the national laboratories, or maybe what we have is a situation where uh, there's some uh, uh, ways in which the university laboratories, which have a lot of investment from the federal government and the university mm -hmm. to create infrastructure, maybe those can be used to get things started at the beginning, yeah. uh, so that you know when the when the when the idea is a little bit better vetted, it's yeah. better able to match what the capital markets can provide and get right. out there and compete. Right. Uh, and in the course of, or, or maybe we have a situation where we have a joint laboratory, and right there, either right next to or actually really on the university campus. Campus, there are uh, scientists and uh, uh, engineers from a company and from the university right there side by side. Maybe they're in the same building yeah. uh, and they have some uh, uh, ability to be in conversation with each other as well yeah. as the ability to go off and do their private things. Yeah. Now that enriches everything. So yes. it's not like it's like this was done in the lab. Now it's outside. Right. It's a much more uh, fluid environment, and I think yeah. universities uh, are learning to be much more skilled at that. 